Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dawson, or The Carolama. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be recording a video of my favorite Pokemon cards in my collection. I have an extremely small collection. Uh, it all fits inside like one of those booster tins. Uh, all the cards I had as a child, I don't have anymore. Uh, so basically, all my newer stuff is stuff I've collected in the last two years. Um, but I have a little stack of cards here. I was inspired by uh, my friend Psycho Cinder or Justin. Uh, he made a video of his favorite Pokemon card collection. Uh, I'll link his video in the description. Um, but, you know, I just decided I have some favorite Pokemon cards, and I have them right here. And I decided, uh, why not? Why not make it? Um, so we're going to start off. I'm, I'm actually going to put the stack down and just pull them a few at a time. Uh... First off, we have a Pangoro. Pangoro is my second favorite Pokemon in uh, Kalos. Uh, first is Tyrantrum, but I do really like Pangoro. We have two Panchams. Uh, same card, I decided to put them together. Seedra, uh, during my X playthrough, I didn't play it, you know, the traditional way. The only two Pokemon I had from uh, Kalos uh, were my Chestnut and my Tyrantrum. Uh, those are the only two Pokemon I kept on my team, but on Wonder Trade I got a shiny, um, uh, shiny Horsey, and I evolved into a Cedra. And since I don't really care for Kingdra, I kept it as a Cedra, and he put in some work, and I love him for that. Bulbasaur, one of my favorite Pokemon. This is the only card I have of Bulbasaur. It's not the best art, uh, but it's something. Uh, then we have two Leafeons, two different cards, but they're both Leafeon. Uh, I like both the arts on them. That one's very simple and traditional. That one's definitely, you know, more computer-generated artwork. Um, but I like them both. Then we have Saw's Book. And Gengar. Gengar is one of my first... My first. One of my favorite first-gen mons. Uh, first-gen is definitely my fair generation. Uh, it's not because I'm a Gen 1-er, because technically, if anything, I'm a Gen 6-er. Because that's the games I, you know, picked up on and started, you know, learning. Uh, that's how I kind of learned about the game was through 6th gen. Um, but Gengar, you know, who doesn't love Gengar? The original ghost. Or, Ghastly was the original ghost, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Then Bonalby, Bonalby, I love Bonalby. Uh, if you watch the King Nappies, I believe it was his Y playthrough. Uh, Bonalby was, like, amazing on his team. And uh, so was, um, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Diggersby? Diggersby, that's what it's called. See, I'm having, now that I'm recording, I'm just, you know, don't don't remember. And then we have a Cedra, again, I like Cedra. See, I like Cedra a lot. And a Raticate. I love Raticate and Raticate. They're just, they're cool mons. Kind of the original, um, not kind of, they were the original, um, um, rats of the game. The rodents. The rodents of the game, and, you know, I like them. I like shiny Raticate. It's like a nice rust red. Um, you know, Persian. I like Persian. He's very sleek. Even though he's not a Persian, he's more of like a, um, what the frick are they called? Siamese? Not Siamese. What are mm -hmm. they called? Oh, I know. He's a Persian. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a Persian cat, but whatever. Kadabra, probably... One of my oldest cards I have, I think I got this from like a cousin or something when they were collecting Pokemon cards. Uh, so she probably gave me that. Um, and then we have a Bayleaf. Uh, I don't like Chikorita. Meganium's okay, but I love Middle Evolutions, especially in the starters. So I do like Meganium. Uh, then we have Weezing. I like Weezing. Uh, these are the Team Plasma uh, cards. Uh, I do, I really like them. They're really cool. Right, those are Team Plasma, right? Yep, yep. See? I'm learning. Not, I mean, you know, it's only been, like, what, four years? <laughs> <laughs> Weeping Bell. Uh, I have, uh, I really like Victory Bell. And Weeping Bell seems like he's, uh, he's, um, taking something up an area that he doesn't want it in. Uh, I was, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, M Magneton, one of my favorite Pokemon is Magnezone. Uh, so, Magneton's on there. Uh, in one of my most successful uh, Alpha Sapphire playthroughs, uh, the electric type of my team was a Voltorb, 
and he put in work. I mean, surprisingly, people don't like his design. People think it's a lazy design. I don't, I don't disagree with that, but I do enjoy Voltorb. Um, and Electrode, for that matter. And then we have uh, Monferno. Like I said, I like Middle Evolutions, and Monferno's Middle Evolution, so I like him. <coughs> again, Bell Sprout. Not again, Bell Sprout, but the Bell Sprout line. I like it. And he's doing like a little dance, um, you know, two stepping or whatever. <laughs> but uh, he's cool. And then we have a Celio, which this is from the. Um, what was it called? Like the the uh, that set? Oh, uh, double crisis. The double crisis set. Uh, that that set was really cool. Uh, it was just an extremely small set, but you were almost guaranteed a full art, or yeah, almost guaranteed a full art. In almost every single um, blister like, pack you yeah. bought. Um, Justin, he got uh, in his first one. He got both of the uh, team Flare and team Aqua, both their full arts, and then in his second one he got. Wait, am I right? Am I he wrong? said Flare and Aqua. Magma and Aqua. Who's Team... Oh, Team Flare's from 6th Gen. Yeah. You know what? They should do, like, Team... Team... <coughs> team uh, Steampunk and... Steampunk. Dubstep. <laughs> <laughs> but Celio. I like Sfeel. I like Walrein. Litleo. Uh, uh, people like the female Pyro Orb because it's very sleek and people like that you know, that mane that kind of comes out like that, but I love uh, the male Pyroar because it just looks, it, you know, people, you know, the, the obvious name for it is like Simba, uh, so I like that. And then we have Furfru. Uh, when Furfru was first leaked online, the core core leaks, uh, Justin sent me a picture of it and said, oh, a llama Pokemon, and I love llamas, hence the Carolama as being my uh, username. And uh, it was not a llama. It was not even close to a llama. But I still like its different patterns. My favorite pattern is the, the shiny version of him with the top hat. It's oh, Della Bills. Yeah, that guy. He's, he's really cool. Um, but yeah, that's that card. And then we have Rattata. Like I said, I like Rattata and Raticate. This is a, definitely a newer card. Um, I don't know why he's in the ice or he's in the snow or whatever. But he is. And he's chilling. He's doing his thing. And it's a Ferris wheel in the background. Tepig, uh, Pig Knight is my, Tepig is my favorite, uh, fourth gen, or fifth gen, fifth gen, uh, starter, uh, I don't really like Snivy, and I, um, you know, Oshawott's cool, I like Duat, um, but Tepig is where it's at, I love, uh, uh, Pig Knight, and, uh, you know, Embor's cool, or not, no, I like Embor, who's the middle evolution? Pig Knight. Pig Knight, Jesus, I am off tonight. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I was up until 3 and then I woke up at uh, 7, so a little bit tired. But yeah. And then we have Tangela, one of my favorite Pokemon is Tangrowth. Uh, I don't really think he's, uh, uh, not underestimated, I don't think he's really, um, uh, people don't really like him very much, and I can see why. He's just a bigger version of a Tangela. But, you know, that's exactly what, what, I mean, what else would you want? I mean, what else can there be for an evolution for Tangela? It's just a bigger version with, you know, I guess he could have some n nicer kicks. Um, but I like Tangrowth, I like Tangela. And then, like I said, I like Sfeel. So here's a Sfeel card of him just chilling in some icebergs. Being all fat and beach ball-y. Uh, Heliolisk, uh, Helip Tile's cool, but I really like Heliolisk, I like his design. I think it's one of the most, uh, sleek and, uh, probably the most basic design for, uh, any 6 Gen Mon. And I like that they didn't give any hair frills or whatever. Even though Tyrantrum is my favorite Pokemon 6 Gen, uh, he has those, like, white mane. Um, but, you know, there's Pokemon that Gen that just didn't need that. Uh, and... You know, he is, he's, he's a cool lizard. He's probably my favorite lizard or reptile in Pokemon. And Electric type is one of my favorite types. So, that helps. Noibat, he's adorable. Nothing really to say about it. Um, my favorite Pokemon used to be Woobat. And Zubat is annoying. No one really likes Zubat. Uh, but, you know, Crobat's cool. And uh, Golbat is, you know, he has a big tongue. Um, but Noibat, new bat Pokemon. Why not? And Rhydon, the original Pokemon. Who does like Rhydon? I hate Rhyperior. I hate Rhyperior with a passion. I think it's one of the stupidest evolutions they've ever done. 
But if it, if, it's, if that's your cup of tea, I'm you know I don't want to hate too much any favorite Pokemon. But it's dumb. I'm sorry, it's dumb. They they tried too hard with it. it Rhydon was great the way he was, and Rhyhorn, cool too. He's just he's just a, he's just a, he's just a Rhyhorn. And Bidoof, this is Justin one of Justin's favorite cards of him, you know, like in a waterfall or in the rain or something, or in a cave, actually, he's in the cave. It's glorious. And uh, he has the um, the uh, reverse hollow, or the hollow version reverse of it. Hollow. Reverse hollow, whatever you want to call it. Can, can you really reverse hollow it, though? Because it's over, it's over the face. Yeah. It's not really a reverse hollow. It's not even really a hollow. It's just, it's glittery. <laughs> it's shiny and pretty. And another Sphiel card, because it's feel. Uh, Lantern. I don't. Chin Chow is. I don't think is a really great, you know, first, uh, first mod in the line. But I like Lantern. It's adorable and it can put in some work. Um, but yeah. Lotad. He's derpy. He looks stunned half the time. He looks like he's seen some stuff, and uh, I like that. Then we have then Lombre. Uh, Ludicolo, I have a Ludicolo finger puppet right here. Uh, I like the Ludicolo line. I think it's just uh, very... Uh, they, they really... I think they spent time designing that character. I think they really spent some time. Um, but it paid off. People like him. And his little dance in X and Y and in Oros, his little back and forth. I love it. Badoof, another Badoof card. His Badoof's cool. I think he's eating a rock. He's definitely eating a rock. Look at that. He's eating a rock. Or he's, at least he's hugging it. <laughs> he's about to eat it. <laughs> and another uh, Badoof card of him eating the rock. Uh, Mr. Mime. Uh, people don't like Jinx. And I don't hate it. I don't like it. I uh, don't hate Mr. Mime. I don't like Mr. Mime. But I like this art because he looks like... He's like a sorcerer and or he's a pyrotechnic because there's like flames everywhere. I don't know. Um, my cargo because we're my cargo. Whatever. It's it's the jo it's a joke. Uh, and my cargo is cool. Slugma's cool too. And then the McDonald's. The only McDonald's promo I think I own, uh, which is a chest bin. I don't know where I got this. I don't think my brother got it, and I definitely didn't get a half a meal. So I don't know why I had got this, but I did. And I like Chespin. I really like Chespin. He's the best starter in 6th gen. I don't care what you Greninja fans say. Greninja's tongue is stupid. <laughs> Without, it, it, even if they didn't put bubbles on it, it still, it still would look better than the stupid giant ass tongue scarf. What happened with that? What happened? Froggy Deer is so cool. What happened with Greninja? Next up, uh, so... This is more going into my hollows. Uh, I think I'm going to show my EXs first. Uh, but the hollows are not necessarily my favorite, but I know people like hollows and reverse hollows and stuff. So I decided to add those in there. If I do like the card, then I'll say it. But if I don't, then just know that I just threw it in there just because. So we have a we have like five full arts here. Um, so I'm going to start off, or not full arts, EXs. Uh, we have a Mewtwo EX. Uh, this is not a technical EX, but it says that. Uh, it's more of like a world championship, you know, if you attend, you get it or whatever. I don't know. Um, but I, when, I, when I looked up Mewtwo EXs, this came up nowhere. Uh, so I don't know if it's, I don't think it's fake because I have other world championship cards. Uh, but I think this is just like a promo card that they threw in if you attended the event or something. That's my only guess. Uh, the other day, during, not the other day, but during Halloween, uh, me and, uh, Justin went to the dollar store because we like cheap candy and we are high schoolers so we don't have jobs. So we went to the dollar store and we found, we got a whole bunch of candy and stuff and I decided to pick up a few Pokemon packs uh, just because and uh, <laughs> he had two packs in his hand, I had five and I came home and in my first, my first pack I opened up this Tyrantar EX. Uh, so. If you are not willing to spend money and you want to start opening TCG packs on YouTube or just, you know, you want to open TCG, go to the dollar store. For one pack of Pokemon cards, you can get three packs at the dollar store. It's amazing. Or even four packs, if you, if it depends on where you buy from. But I got this T-Tar EX. And then I think my third pack, I got this Mega Tyrantar EX, full art, 
which is awesome. T uh, Tyranitar is not my favorite Mega Evolution, but, I mean, you can't really complain. It's not Love Disc. Fuck Love Disc. Love Disc is the worst Pokemon ever, and it needs to rot in any hell. Uh, next up, like I said, with if you buy any of those Double Crisis uh, booster packs or whatever, um, you were almost guaranteed to full art, and I pulled my... I was... I was... I wasn't even excited when I got this because I knew I was going to get it. Like, every pack opening I've seen on YouTube or even with Justin, they always got one. So I wasn't really worried about getting one. I'm glad I got the Kyogre because Groudon's not my favorite. I bought uh, Alpha Sapphire. Uh, yeah. yeah, Alpha Sapphire. Jesus. I am not on my game tonight. I don't know what's going on. I, like, have to refer. Good thing you're here because I would be sitting here like, yes, Omega Ruby with Kyogre in it. Uh, about Sapphire, I love Alpha Sapphire. Uh, I like Kyogre, he's my favorite one. Uh, at least during Groudon and Kyogre, but, you know, Mega Rayquaza, look at that guy, he's awesome. And then, uh, the tin I have was a, a Venusaur tin, and this was the promo card in it. Um, and yeah, Venusaur, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, I like the whole line, uh, but I got that. So that's not really anything special, it's just a promo card, but it's still cool. Uh, so let's finish with my hollows and reverse hollows. Um, so I do like this Noivern. Like I said, I like Noibat, and Noivern is cool. I think he, as much as I do like uh, Gumi and uh, Sagu and Gudra, I think Noivern is definitely the most pseudo-legendary-esque Pokemon in the game. That, or even, if you really want to call it Tyrantrum, I think they're both, they visually look like it, but... You know, it's all it's it comes down to the stats and Gudra is definitely the pseudo of the bunch and you know, people love him, so I can't really complain. A Slugma. Like I said, I like Macargo, so Slugma is a no brainer. Uh this level ball. Um we have a Hitmonchan. That's a cool card. That's actually a really cool card. I like that. Roselia, Ro uh, Rose Raid, and um, is it Badoo? Not Badoo. Yep. Yeah, Badoo. Jesus. It, tonight is my off night. I'm telling you. Hey, can we play Minecraft later? I'll be like, how do you make cobblestone? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have Roselia. Uh, then we have Poliwag. Uh, Manfu. Uh, Manfu, I like. Um, what's the evolution? Uh, Min Chao. Min Chao. I like Min Chao. Minfu, Minfu, Min... Minfu. Minfu, jeez. Ah, this is almost like a scrap video because I am messing up a whole bunch in this. But whatever. It doesn't matter. We're having fun here. Not really. I'm sad. <laughs> 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 and then we have this aggron, which is freaking beast. I love this art. Uh, it's a little hard to tell because it's a little blurry, but... It's amazing. And it's one of those, um... It's one of those, um... Double Crisis <laughs> cards. Another Double Crisis card. This is the Team Aqua Adamans. Uh, both two tool, two cool characters. And then we have a Wall Rain. Wall Rain's awesome. And we have a whole bunch of Aerons just in a pile. What, what are they sitting on? Are they sitting on a? Oh, it's that. It's the. Uh, it's like the Sharpedo ship, or the Sharpedo, um, submarine. submarine. I was getting to it. You just, you just let me go off for a few minutes. I would have got it. Uh, then we have Puchiana. Puchiana's cool. Uh, then we have Camera Up. This is definitely, probably, my second favorite card in the set. Uh, I really like Camera Up. I like Mega Camera Up. I don't like Sharpedo very much. I think, I think one of the mistakes they did was they tried to make it too badass, and they kind of, they, especially, especially to transfer from the actual art to the game, they left all the spikes out, like, on his, like, on his, um, nose, and that just, it's stupid, why would you leave it out, if, if it's in the, if it's in the official artwork, why not put in the game, it, it's not like he even pokes them out anytime, they're just not there, it makes no sense, and it's probably gonna be in the anime, in the anime, they're probably gonna have the spikes in it, and they're not in the game. And, like, if you're going to go as serious with that design, at least transfer over the game the same way, and just, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's a stupid complaint I have, but I don't really like Mega Sharpedo that much. And then we have the Team Aqua Secret Base. Now, we have another 
a stack of reverse hollows and hollows. So we're going to start with Patrat. People do not like this Pokemon. I don't know why. Uh, I have a figure of him somewhere around here. Um, I don't hate him. I don't love him. But uh, I think he does get hate on him a lot. Um, but hey, he's just the rodent of 4th uh, gen. So, or 5th gen. 4th gen. 5th gen. What was 4th gen? What happened to 4th gen? We do. <laughs> I know. Turtwig's in it. Of course I love it. Um... But he's, he's just a rodent. You didn't really need to use him. He wasn't all that great of a Pokemon anyway. And neither was Watchog. Watchog is just like, whatever. Um, and, you know, the rodents are literally there for you to have, like, as uh, HM slaves. They're not there for anything else. It's not like they're great Pokemon. So, I don't know if people are complaining that much. Hone Edge, I like Dewblade. And I like um, Edge Slash. Uh, I have a shiny one called Excalibur. It's really cool. Um, then we have a a ancient trait Rhyperior, or a half half what's the other what's the other term for it? Ancient origins. No. Not ancient origins. Ancient trait. Yeah, ancient trait. Um, no, I said that one. Ancient trait. What's the other one? It's again a half half something. Half art. Half art. No, it's something else. Like those cards are called ancient trait. Oh, I know. Hollow. There we go. No, not hollow. What the word are you looking for then? No, I'm t like Ando. He used to call him something else. I don't watch Ando. Oh, what the frick did he call him? I don't know what he called him, but it's an ancient trait, whatever. And Rapier, like I said, I don't really, I don't really like him very much, but I have to admit that art is pretty badass. But it just, he's just, he's, he's stupid Pokemon still. Weakness policy, whatever. Um, didn't he pull a secret rare like one of those? Like it was like a ticket. Oh yeah, the weakness policy, and I also have no secret rare, whatever. You can watch it in my video. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, go to his channel and watch all his five videos. Link in the description. <laughs> hey, new one's uploading right now. Well, yeah, like it, while I'm recording my video, he was making a thumbnail and uploading his video. So, you know, watch both of our videos. Give <laughs> us both views and <laughs> subscribers and friends. <laughs> Give us friends. Um, Milotic, I love Milotic. I think she's beautiful. Uh, I'm scared of mermaids and... You know, she's kind of a mermaid serpent, but I'm not scared of her. Kind of scared of her. Those brows, those brows are a little over too fleek, but, uh, yeah, she's cool. And she's definitely deserving of a mega, uh, definitely. Uh, Scroopy, whatever. And then another Mianfu. Oh, we have a Fabebe, or Flabebe, or, uh, Flabibi, which I heard. Hey, Flabebe. It's just like whatever. Cool Pokemon. Uh, Floor just is cool. Um, I think they really missed out without giving... I think they really missed out not giving it a grass type because it's not a friggin' flower and it's basically... It, 6th gen, good games, you know, fast games, you know, not really that challenging. But when it comes to the Mons there, there are a lot of them that are mistyped. Like, I think... Uh, Helioptile and Heliolisk would make great electric uh, dark types, or even electric ground types, but electric normal, whatever. And then we have a Sigilith, that's a cool art, I like that. And then we have, what do we have next? Uh, Manaphy, uh, uh, Zigzagoon, a Lapras, Lapras is a cool mon, definitely one of the coolest first gen mons. And I think, not last, I think we have one more after this. We have a Soul Rock. And last but not least, we have a Love Disc, the worst Pokemon in the entire games. Love Disc, everybody. A heart with a face. Good job, Nintendo. Not Nintendo, good job, Game Freak. Not really Nintendo's fault. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my whole collection. Everything that I enjoy from my collection or anything that I think other people would enjoy. Uh, I have other Pokemon cards, but a lot of them are just, you know, um, just duplicates or, uh, you know, the, um, or the card, the cards that just have the, uh, the symbols on them. Like the, uh, yeah. the, what are they called? The cards that just had the little, like, grass type, the grass type cards or whatever. Oh, energy. Energy cards. Like, I have a shit ton of energy cards and stuff like that. Um, 
But uh, if I make another video on uh, the cards, I'll make sure that I am not tired so I can remember the terms. But if you do like this video and you want to subscribe and like and do all those things, then go ahead and do those. I would really appreciate it. I make videos uh, weekly, bi-weekly. Um, there's always new videos up on the channel. It just depends on when I get them, you know, uh, thumbnails and uploads and stuff like that. But, you know. I also make videos. He Sometimes. also makes videos, even though I mentioned him three times in this video. Go check out his videos. He still needs to <laughs> come on to my outro and still plug himself. <laughs> How about you start making more videos? Then you can plug yourself, Justin. Eh. Go check out Second Send his YouTube channel. He is he's a good guy for the most part. Kind of has a big forehead, but, you know, whatever. Now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just turn on the video. I am going to block you from everything. Bye, guys. <laughs>